Check it. Hello, gorgeous soul. It's Venus in Pisces, which is one of the most magical times of the year. Venus loves to be in Pisces. They are <clears throat> dancing with each other and having a fine old time. But how do we fully take advantage of this magic? Because it brings up our empathy. It brings up our emotions. It makes everything romantic, whether it's a love relationship or just walking along and experiencing the wonder of the earth. Venus in Pisces is one of my favorite things. In fact, I've got Venus in Pisces, so I live with that all the time. So I've decided to give you a little reading for each sign to see how you can make the most out of it. And if there's anything blocking you, really exploring the wonder and magic of this, Let's deal with it and see what comes up. Here's your little Venus Advices tarot reading. Virgo, what magic is this Venus in Pisces going to bring you? Remember, you are someone who articulates yourself so well. You can speak. You are ruled by Mercury. But this is a time to feel. This is a time to intuit. Let's see what advice we can give you to take advantage of it so that you feel loved. Okay, Virgo, first card. You may be feeling a little bit defensive at the moment. Did something hurt you or upset you? And nine of wands, you're like, I'm not letting you in. I'm not letting you in. Well, this could be something to do with your home or around your home or your family. And it's like, how are we going to transform that? It's about building new foundations. But to build new foundations, you've got to open your heart a little bit. You know, that is the past. Okay, you were wounded. But I reckon if this person took their bandage off, they would be totally healed. You know, bring down your wall. Nothing's going to allow the energy to flow if you're still feeling that. You've also got you feeling maybe like you're going through a rebirth. A young Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Are you feeling like, oh, maybe I'm going to look at the world differently now. And Venus in Pisces can really help you with that. You might even get somebody who's a wild one that takes you by the hand and say, let's go on an adventure. And they may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. But yes, somebody's coming in to offer you something to help you break down that wall and open up your heart. The two of wands. You're examining your world and you're going, do you know what? I want to make my world bigger. If you have had problems where you've been hurt, now you are ready to move on and you are ready to trust your intuition. Because guess what? When we trust our intuition, then we anticipate the problems before they occur. And you know what? You've got a very strong intuition. And this is the moon, right? So you can sense if something is off or someone isn't quite telling you the truth. Listen to it. Your, your psychic senses are what are going to bring you the gifts this month. And also, then there are many dreams for you. Don't forget, choose a good dream. Don't keep choosing the same cup with the dragon in or choosing you know, the, the cup with the snake in. Choose one of the cups that offers you something new, something wondrous, some jewels of life. And finally, you are opening up your heart, the Queen of Cups. Also, you might, may meet an emotional Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, but you're opening up your heart to emotion again. Your final card is the lovers. You are getting your passion for life back. That is what Venus in Pisces can show you to open up your heart, feel passion again. Passion for a person, passion to rekindle the energy of passion in a relationship or passion for a project. It doesn't have to be, you know, just a one-to-one -one love thing. It could be like, oh, just feeling the love for being alive, feeling the love for a project. And also when we get the lover's card, there's always a choice. What choice are you going to make? Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight Astrologer, and of course my website, michellenight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.